what's up y'all welcome back to be true tarot those of you that's returning and welcome if you are new and you joining us for the first time i'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me we are about to get into an all signs reading take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there what's going on y'all what's up collective what's going on uh this is who and what's coming towards you first half of april Y'all know I usually put this out on the first of every month. I know that it's already like, what, April 7th, right? Um, I'm sorry that I'm late, okay? I'm sorry that I'm seven days late, but I had a lot of personals and um, I've just been running around doing a lot of different things, working on a lot of different things. So, you know, I'm still trying to just put out the next 48s consistently, the early teas midtime teas nighttime teas whatever like i just been trying to be consistent with our like schedule and also patreon personals my outside work outside of this my, you know it's just a lot so i'm getting around to it now you guys all right i didn't forget about who was coming towards you for the month all right this is the first half of april and then you guys know you'll get a part two towards the second half of april all right so this will be from like now to like the 15th 16th ish of April okay and then around the 15th 16th ish <laughs> I should be putting out the part two okay I'm going in order from Aries to Pisces you guys could check out your Sun Moon Venus rising placements okay you could also check out your North Node all right Sun Moon Venus rising North Node placements but we're going to start off with Aries okay let's see Aries who and what's coming towards you first half of April What's going on, my beautiful and handsome Aries out there? Happy birthday, Aries. I know that it's your season, sugar. I hope you all have a beautiful birthday. I hope you all enjoy your season. Aries, stand the fuck up. What's going on, my Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north, no Aries. Who and what's coming towards Aries first half of April, Holy Spirit? Who and what's coming towards Aries first half of April? Give me two more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Aries out there. Who and what's coming towards Aries first half of April? Let's see. Let's see, Aries, my honey buns. We got the three of pentacles here, the high priestess, and the knight of cups. So somebody want to work together with you. I feel like, yeah, there's an offer coming in. Yep, somebody want to give to you. Look at this shit. We got somebody here could be traveling, trying to come towards you to give something to you. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Aries, somebody here want to express their feelings for you. Somebody here want to offer you something, okay? I definitely see that. So expect somebody to return. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Somebody here want to tell you the truth about their feelings, Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Somebody here want to tell you the truth about how they feel. Somebody here ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Somebody here feel confident enough to do this. This could be an Aquarius, another Aries, somebody with that in a chart. I feel like whoever this is, you don't not, you don't normally see eye to eye with this person or you don't really feel like this would be a wise investment. Maybe you are on the fence about, you know, dealing with this person or investing in them, investing any time, energy, anything into them. A lot of y'all feel like it's too late. Like whoever this is that's trying to come towards you, it's like it's too little, too late. Yeah, it's just too little, too late. I'm hearing some, I'm hearing JoJo too little, too late. But yeah, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Like this person is hoping that they didn't run out of time. They hoping that they didn't because they really feel a strong connection to you. For some of you, this person is seeing a whole life with you. They viewing you as their wish fulfillment. This person may be wanting marriage with you. And this could be another Aries or an Aquarius. Somebody with that in a chart. Give me something on this Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel, there you go. Again, Aries showing up as a high priestess. You intuitively know who this is. It's like y'all may even feel this person's energy. Y'all can feel this person's presence. And I got a lot of birds like chirping outside of my window right now. So I don't know. This person could be talking about you a lot, okay? Or just thinking about you a lot. Um, you could be receiving certain downloads and communication regarding this person. Whoever you are, you showing up as the Empress. Wow, Aries. You showing up as the Empress and the High Priestess. Like you a big fucking deal. What's up, sis? You could have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, or Pisces placements in your chart. Somebody here is trying to manipulate you, though. Somebody here could have been trying to manipulate you energy do spell work on you this person could be a gemini or a virgo they fail miserably at this okay because you too protected yeah everything is happening in in the right time and in divine timing trust in divine timing trust in god's plan you are in perfect alignment you could be seeing a lot of different angel numbers as well but with the 11 of wands i mean the 11 of wands 11 11 four of wands 
you got wish fulfillment here. Your wish is being granted. Everything is happening in God's timing and divine timing. This Virgo, this Gemini, whoever this is that was attacking y'all, they going to fucking feel that shit. They going to get a backfire here because you're somebody that's very protected. Okay, somebody here is really depressed by the fact that they couldn't manipulate your energy. Somebody here is also depressed because you got the Ten of Pentacles. They fucking mad. Yo, this Gemini, this Virgo, this Sagittarius, whoever the fuck these people are, they are jealous because you got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. You showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress and the High Priestess. And what make it so even, what make it even worse is that you intuitively know this shit. Like somebody here hate the fact that you know where you headed. Somebody here hate the fact that you know that you destined for greatness somebody here wished that you doubted yourself wish that you didn't love yourself they wish that you was insecure they wish that you was easy to play on like somebody here wish that they could manipulate your psyche okay fuck with your mental fuck with your mindset your thoughts so that you could like manifest bullshit into your life somebody here's mad because they couldn't do that somebody here tried it though they did try it they walking around talking shit right now somebody here could be an air sign they could be a gemini libra aquarius okay a Virgo, a Sagittarius, somebody here is pissed the fuck off because everything that they did, it failed. Like, <laughs> that shit failed. That shit backfired. Like, you still got mental clarity. Your intuition is still on a thousand. You still showing up as someone that's extremely intuitive, gifted, tapped in. Somebody here was trying to block your vision, block your third eye. Somebody here was also trying to block your emperor from giving you this offer. Like, fuck out of here. Somebody here wants you to feel, somebody here wants you to pick the wrong person in love so empress high priestess queen of pentacles aries whoever you are my love you could be single okay but there's somebody that is wanting you there's an equal there's a divine counterpart here emperor empress both in the upright this person has the strength and courage to now come towards you and tell you how they feel about you and somebody here is trying to manipulate you into not working with this person somebody here wants you to reject this person when they make this offer somebody here don't want you to invest in this person they don't want you to desire this person they've been trying to keep you two separated for the longest somebody here has been doing hella spell work hella energy work to make sure that this person don't express their love for you to make sure that you reject them if they happen to express their love for you and for some of you this is what this person is mad about these people are mad because it didn't work you've healed like if somebody was affecting your energy in any way you've healed there's a king of swords in the reverse here that feels like it's unfair it's unjust for you to have this for you to be in love for this emperor to be with you this person could be a gemini libra aquarius okay or somebody with strong air in their chart this person is watching and they're pissed off this is somebody that's a third party on the outside looking in there could also be a scorpio that's bad these people are fucking furious because they've been energetically fighting for your attention or fighting for the attention of your emperor and it's not working the cycle has closed out with these karmics there's a queen of cups in reverse that's also upset because the cycle has closed out with them somebody here can't believe that you've healed that you went through this beautiful transformation aries and that somebody is coming back towards you somebody here wants somebody to get rejected they want you to reject this person because they know that this person has made up the, their mind that they want to commit to you for some of you this person could be a taurus this person could be um a aries like you a taurus a libra okay um aquarius somebody with that in a chart somebody here don't want you two to work together but i feel like you actually might work together with this person somebody here been sending y'all the evil eye hella attacks here it's not working somebody here is also going to try to come in before this person do okay or they're going to try to come in regardless whether this person has showed up or not it's like they want to come in as a false person somebody here may even want to bribe you into being with them like somebody here gonna be trying to like offer y'all gifts and like all types of shit into being with them like somebody here gonna really try to come in and butter you up like somebody here could even be trying to buy you a car or offer you money offer you like little gifts and shit like somebody here crazy as hell you gonna know who desperate you gonna be able to see through it you gonna be you gonna know that somebody here got like a secret hidden agenda okay because you a high priestess so it's not gonna get past you you gonna pick up on that shit immediately yeah like you got clear you got clear vision you got clear sight you're a seer aries you can see through this shit you know who trying to finesse you you also know who's a player who sleeps around a lot you got a player that's gonna be trying to contact you expect to receive like you gonna get a message you gonna hear from somebody that's full 
full of shit, okay? And you're going to know right away that this person full of shit. And they heavily burdened and weighed down because you don't want nothing to do with them. This person is going to be stressed out because you can see through them. They showing up as the king of wands reverse. You showing up as the queen of wands in the upright. Somebody here going to be so fucking mad that you're going to invest in the right person. They could also be a Pisces that could be trying to come towards you or somebody with strong Pisces in HR. This person think that they're going to have a new beginning with you. This is somebody that's actually facing some sort of poverty. They having some sort of financial hardships. This person is hoping that they could come towards you, celebrate with you, and be with you. They thinking about you. This person wish that they could just pop up on you and be with you. This person crazy as hell. This is all in their imagination. It was just my imagination running away with me. Yeah, this person's imagination is running away with them. They fucking mind is running away from them. This person is mentally fucking ill and disturbed. If they thought that they could escape poverty by setting up shot with you because you independent and you holding your own and you coming into all this abundance. Some of y'all getting a win for you, getting a payout. You got a lot of money that could be coming towards you or you could just make a really good living for yourself, okay? Maybe you have a great business that's doing really well. Some of you could be um, definitely in a public eye. Shit. Some of y'all could even be famous. You could be rich. You could be wealthy coming into wealth. Somebody here knows that you're destined for wealth. You're destined for greatness, even if you're not currently experiencing that. And it's like they just want to get in good with you before before it could happen or because it has happened they trying to get in good like somebody here just trying to rush towards you and kiss your ass but my whole thing is this since when you taking care of motherfuckers aries like since when you taking care of these grown-ass people it's like everybody trying to come towards you it's like ain't none of y'all getting the help that y'all think y'all gonna get ain't none of y'all getting help y'all motherfuckers not getting a fucking cent so I don't understand why these people are energetically fighting and physically fighting for some of y'all to get to you, to get close to you. It's like you ain't taking care of not naming one of these motherfuckers. I don't know who sent out a false memo that you take care of grown motherfuckers because you don't. I'm hearing you don't. <laughs> like, I'm hearing that you don't. Okay, let's move on to my Taurus, child. Taurus, what's going on, sugar? What's going on, baby? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Taurus. Who and what's coming towards Taurus first half of April? What can Taurus expect first half of April? Who and what's coming towards my Taurus first half of April? Look, Taurus, the Hierophant reverse. I don't know. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Taurus. This person could be shady as fuck. Or somebody here could have shown Taurus in a chart. Okay, I'm hearing that is that a it's something about family feud. Somebody here could be watching that show, Family Feud. Somebody here could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Because I'm seeing Steve Harvey right now. He's a Capricorn. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be dealing with a Pisces, a Capricorn, okay? There could be some sort of communication coming in from a Pisces or an Earth sign for some of you, a fellow Earth sign. Let's see what's going on, Taurus, okay? Be mindful of somebody wanting to use you. I feel like, yeah, you know exactly who wants to use you. And so you walking away, eight of cups. So like, Taurus, if somebody's trying to use you, I feel like you walking away from them. Okay? I'm hearing that you walking away. Yeah, you done with this person. Somebody here be throwing a, a tantrum, too. Somebody here shows they ass when they don't get their way. This person could be a Gemini. They could have Gemini in a chart. They could be a Leo. They could have Leo in a chart. They could have strong earth in a chart. Whoever this is, I feel like they show their ass when they don't get their way. This is somebody that could be wanting you to like be with them, okay? And it's like because you don't want their offer or because you're not like answering them right away, maybe this person feel like you dragging your feet. Yeah, they mad. They talking hella shit. Some of y'all got like a fake ass friend around you as well. Be mindful of who you telling your business to. This person could be an air sign. They could be a they could be a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be a Leo or a Scorpio. This person is fake as fuck. I also feel like for some of you, somebody here is trying to pay someone, okay, to to like um to expose you in some sort of way, okay, like sexually, like sexually expose you somebody here is like trying to get you caught up doing some shit so this could have been something that you already did like maybe you had a um some risky photos some nudes or maybe you had like a a video with someone or something like that and somebody here could be trying to like bribe someone into like exposing you or somebody here could be bribing someone to come towards you sleep with you and then record it secretly so that they can blackmail you or some weird shit like that that's so dumb motherfuckers is so childish how old is this person Taurus, whoever you are you single for some of y'all you single and you living your best life yeah you a fucking empress you're a fucking earth angel what the hell like somebody is doing this shit to an angelic being you're a fucking earth angel like 
like somebody people always doing dumb shit to earth angels like i promise you it's only the earth angels that be going through the dumb the, the dumbest 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 shit uh like what the fuck is this like taurus whoever you are you showing up as an empress the temperance temperance angel earth angel energy all day you could have sagittarius placements you could have strong air in your chart somewhere okay taurus there you go showing up as the hierophant baby like you are the truth you are the shit Somebody here could be going to jail behind this. Somebody in your family going to jail, okay? I feel like you know this shit, too. Somebody here is also irritated because you know that they're going to jail and you don't care. You're not going to help them. This person could have tried to do something illegal regarding money, okay? Somebody here could be a scammer. Somebody here could have also tried to scam you or steal your identity. You could be finding out about this if you don't know already. But somebody here could actually have legal issues or possibly be getting incarcerated behind this shit. You're going to find out about it. Yep, you're going to find out about it. I'm telling you, you're going to find out about it. There's going to be a fight about this shit, too. If it's not already, motherfuckers going to be fighting. Somebody here is also mad because you're getting your wish fulfillment. You're getting everything that's owed to you. Anything and everything that's owed to you that's supposed to come to you is coming in, but it's coming in tenfold, okay? I'm hearing double for your trouble. Somebody here is definitely heavily burdened and weighed down. For some of y'all, somebody that you had children with could be falling ill. This person could be sick. Their health is getting worse and worse. Whoever they currently with in a relationship or in a marriage of this person like remarried or something like that that person has lost their job they struggling financially they could be needing your help this person could be wanting help from you but this is somebody that could have treated you poorly in the past this person could be a pisces or another taurus like you some of y'all was in a connection with another taurus i'm also seeing here moving forward taurus that you could be getting into a connection with a fellow earth sign okay or somebody with strong earth in a chart and somebody from your past is heavily burdened and weighed down depressed and sad and sick mad because they didn't treat you better okay i'm hearing i should have put that woman first somebody feel like they should have put you first taurus okay they stressed out because you living your best fucking life you falling in love with somebody they like damn Oh my God, this person is stressed out. This Scorpio, this Gemini, this other Taurus, this Virgo, this Capricorn, whoever this motherfucker is, okay? I got Scorpio and Leo here too, if I didn't say that already. This person is so fucking mad that you moving on, that you got somebody else. And whoever you got, this person is a boss. Like this is some, somebody here could even be saying like, oh, Taurus, you only chose that person because they got more money than me. You only want to be with somebody that got money. You only want to be with somebody that's going to take care of you financially. You like, bitch, you can say whatever you want. I'm out. It don't matter. Some of y'all could actually be going on vacation as well. Or somebody here could be wanting to go on a trip with you. Somebody here could even be asking you like, Taurus, you want to go on vacation with me? You want to take a trip with me? Yeah, look at this suave GQ motherfucker, Knight of Cups. Here they go, coming in, looking all sexy and shit, expressing their feelings for you. Somebody here want to heal something with you. Taurus, I'm also hearing that you are someone that could be tapping into your gifts you could be a healer for some of you okay it's something here about your story um healing and helping others so some of you need to you know really like put your testimony out there tell your story because i'm hearing that it's going to help or heal a lot of people or some of you could be already in your life purpose and doing this okay god is really proud of you god wants you to continue to do this to share your story to help others somebody here has been lying on you as well saying that you sleep around or that you promiscuous and i feel like they the ones that's promiscuous this motherfucker is the king of wands in reverse this person has been exposed for being a player for being a liar this is somebody that's just mad and just jealous because they can't sleep with you like this is somebody that y'all could have even slept with at some point in the past and they mad because they can't hit it no more this person is so fucking arrogant and so full of themselves this person could be a pisces or a fire sign they could have that in a chart they could also be a virgo or they could be another taurus like you okay whoever this person is they're arrogant they're stubborn they're big-headed they're so full of themselves this person is calling you a hoe they calling you all types of shit this person is just unhappy mad sending you the evil eye and feeling like it's unfair that you living your best fucking life without them and they just watching you and they mad because you don't want to sleep with them no more somebody here could also be prank calling you like this is the most immature energy that i've gotten in a long time like somebody well not, let me not lie let me not say a long time because y'all know we got we get immature energies all the time like motherfuckers are just pathetic they miserable they sad they got too much time on their hands like half these motherfuckers don't got no jobs so it's like they just be doing petty shit all day every day but i'm telling you like Whoever this is, it's like they secretly watching you and they could be like prank calling you or like texting you from unknown numbers, like numbers 
that don't like like those text-free numbers you know is that still a thing like the text-free app yeah but like somebody here is like texting you or calling you privately and it's like they just saying dumb shit it's this person it's this pisces this fire sign this scorpio this virgo okay this other taurus whoever this is this person is a fucking loser and i just feel like you don't even care like you know that this person is the emperor reverse you know that this person is miserable you know that this person is spreading rumors about you sleeping around and doing this and doing that and they just mad because you don't want to be with them or you don't want to have sex with them anymore somebody here is mad that you wouldn't have sex with them and this is somebody that has sex with everybody and this is why they took it to heart because it's like they get around they sleep around a lot i feel like nobody really turns this person down but you turned them down and they're mad even if you slept with them before you're not sleeping with them anymore and they're mad it's like how dare you turn me down and so like now this person is making it their business to expose you in some way or just simply just straight out flat out lie on you because they fucking bitter like somebody here it's like what the fuck like is your ego like this person's ego is bruised okay this is somebody that is like a little boy like whoever this is they bitch made they just fucking stressed out and fucking mad because they not used to people rejecting them and how dare you reject them Taurus like this is somebody that's like how dare you reject me and it's like motherfucker easy simple I said no no means no like this is somebody that can't handle rejection oh well this person it could be a Capricorn as well this is someone that's extremely codependent okay this is somebody that is just narcissistic this is somebody that's very obsessive controlling dominating possessive like this person is a fucking like they just want to control your life like this is somebody that wants you to just be a fucking dummy for them like absolutely not Taurus this person hates the fact that you could be very intuitive as well like this person just wants you to be a fucking dummy for them it's not going down it's not happening <laughs> let's move on to my Gemini's what's up Jim 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 Sun Moon Venus Rising North Node Gemini who and what's coming towards my Gemini's first half of April? Holy Spirit, what's coming towards Gemini first half of April? Who and what's coming towards my Gemini's first half of April? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. We got the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody here that have strong Leo in a chart. Gemini, either you or this person could be building the strength and courage to walk away. This could be a codependent situation. Okay, so some of y'all could be in a karmic connection or a codependent situation. Maybe it's just a, it's just something that you're unhappy in. And now you finally got the strength to walk away. I'm hearing that you want to walk away. I'm hearing that song, Walk Away by... um. Somebody here could be abusive and a liar as well. Yeah, you definitely need to get away. Somebody, somebody, y'all, yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with a fellow air sign. You could be dealing with another Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, a, a Sagittarius, somebody with that in a chart. Um, but I'm hearing walk away by, um, fuck, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera is actually a Sag as well, okay? I, like, I love her. I used to love her when I was younger, too. Used to be a huge Christina Aguilera fan. But I'm hearing that song, Walk Away, it's on her, um... I think it's on her uh stripped album. It's like one of her it's on like one of her first albums. Yeah, I think it's on the stripped album, the black and white cover. When she had like the black the beach the beach. <laughs> the bleach blonde hair with like the black highlights. Yeah, I think it was on that album, but it's called Walk Away. Okay? Like you walking away. Some of y'all may need to listen to that song, Walk Away by Christina Aguilera. Look it up if you never heard it it's an older song okay but give me something on the lovers yeah you got a decision to make gemini you got a decision to make um because you tired of fighting you tired of fighting with this person somebody here is like fighting to the death of them too like what the fuck like somebody here is just crazy as hell this person could be another gemini like you a libra an aquarius a sagittarius and yeah i got aquarius here i said aquarius already like what this could be somebody that was a friend of yours at one point in time or they could be a friend of somebody that you used to be connected to romantically but this person is a fucking stalker i feel like this person be stalking you and they mad because you don't want to deal with them no more okay like this is somebody that's a player they be in and out of your life for some of you maybe you even in a relationship with this person okay but this is somebody here that's getting karma okay like something going on in their life where they getting bad karma will of fortune in reverse yeah i also feel like this uh-uh you need to protect yourself from this person some of y'all uh-uh you no uh-uh <laughs> like hell no nah. like who the fuck is this like yeah this is somebody that's 
fucking temperamental they a big fucking baby this is somebody that's emotionally manipulative their energy is horrible they're a shapeshifter this is an aquarius this is an aquarius man yep it's an aquarius man or a scorpio man a sagittarius man this person is like i don't know what's going on with them i don't know if somebody here is manipulating their energy or if this is just truly their natural energy it's like i can't even tell this person may actually have a personality disorder or they could have like yeah they could have like a split personality something's going on with this person my goodness yeah hell fucking all uh, um mm -mm. they could have paid a queen of wands in a reverse here to have an abortion or to keep quiet about having an affair with them so this could be your spouse this could be somebody y'all in a relationship with or married to they could have paid a queen of wands in a reverse off to shut up or to get rid of a baby to have an abortion or to be quiet so that they don't expose them or something like that but i feel like they're mad because this person is being celebrated in some way and so they want to go back towards that person and work things out with them but that person no longer wants them and that's fair and just the cycle has closed out with them and this other person and now they are trying to sneak and, and destroy a connection with somebody that could be healthy for you. They want to destroy you and somebody else's connection that could be really healthy that's trying to come in for you. What? This person is doing too much. Like, for some of y'all, maybe y'all are separated. Because for some of y'all, you still legally married to this person and y'all separated. And if for others of you, this could just be somebody that you're dealing with. And it's like... They don't want to let you go. Like, somebody here do not want to let you go. They don't want you to be free. Yeah, this person is toxic as fuck. Like, this... What the fuck? Like, somebody here... Yo, this is ridiculous. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, an Aquarius, okay? Somebody here could be a Cancer. They could have that in a chart, a Sagittarius. It's like this person is dealing with multiple people. They never close the door, um with people it's like they have a revolving door with people they like to keep a variety they go from one person to the next one person to the next and it's like you could have found out about this and you cutting them off or you could have found out about it in the past and you've already cut them off it's like no yeah you showing up as someone that's very intuitive gemini you could have pisces virgo libra taurus placements in your chart for some of you yeah you don't want nothing to do with this person this person was trying to juggle you with somebody else you found out and i feel like now you filing for divorce or you taking a new leap of faith towards a new person or you going in a new direction whether solo or with somebody else you're done you're laying this shit to rest you ready for this divorce to be finalized you ready for this relationship to just be over you just ready for this person to get the fuck on to move the fuck around like it's really giving this energy like yo just leave me alone like this person got so many problems could be an aries for some of y'all too because the emperor in reverse is aries energy somebody here could be an aries a cancer an aquarius a pisces a sagittarius they gotta have that in a chart somewhere or a leo but this person like literally pays somebody to have an abortion or they pay somebody to shut the fuck up about them being with them or sleeping with them or getting pregnant by them like this person just be doing too much like i feel like you was just like nah absolutely not like i can't believe this is who i married i can't believe this is who i was trying to build a family build a life with like yo you just doing too much like this motherfucker all over the place they be doing too much like this is somebody that don't have no control over their sexual urges this is somebody that see they want to fuck anything and anybody that they feel like is attractive like this person can't see somebody and just be like oh they're attractive and just you know move on they in a relationship they in a marriage no and they're attracted to you they have to act on it like this is somebody that just have no fucking self-control they for the streets and gemini i feel like you said the streets could have you baby you threw that motherfucker back to the streets you said yo the streets can have you like the streets can have you, baby. I don't need you. I don't want you. The streets can have you. <laughs> like, you sent that motherfucker back to the streets, Gemini. Straight like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's move on to my um cancers. What's up, cancer? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. What's up, cancer, baby? What's going on with you guys? Let's see. Who and what's coming towards my cancers first half of April? Who and what's coming towards my beautiful and handsome Kansas first half of April? 
spirit who and what's coming towards cancer first half of april some of you could be building a relationship with someone okay but i feel like it's more of friendship okay it's more of a friendship here all right be mindful of gossip too and fake friends shady friends some of y'all got people from your past like past friends that you could be outgrowing and you could be meeting new people that are like more more on a vibration as you like they're vibrating at the same frequency as you okay like you could be meeting members of your soul tribe and you could have past karmic friends friends from your past or people that you just grew up with that you don't necessarily resonate with anymore like you could have outgrown these people they're mad like you got multiple like this could even be like a friends group that you used to hang out with it's like you got people from your past that's jealous that's mad because you meeting other people that are like-minded like you don't have anything in common with your old friends group and it's like they could be gossiping or talking shit about you or talking shit about new people that you could be hanging out with or really taking a strong liking to they just fucking mad because you outgrowing them they mad because you outshining them they mad because you doing big things for yourself period like some of y'all got a um a toxic ass sister a toxic sibling a toxic mother some of y'all got like a narcissistic mother and she puts the siblings against each other. Some of y'all been dealing with something like that too, where you got like a toxic mother that be like putting you and your sister or you and your other siblings against one another. Like this bitch is a narcissist. Sorry, I didn't mean to call your mom a bitch. Some of y'all feel that way. That's why I said it. But this woman is a narcissist. Like she likes to start shit and then like sit back and, and watch it unfold. Like, she be putting everybody against confirmation. Oh, my God. Like, she be putting everybody against each other. That's narcissist shit. Especially when they're parents. That's what they do. Like, they put their siblings against one another. They put their children against one another. Like, they put, like, a sibling rivalry. And uh, it comes from, like, the parents. And then it's like, they'll sit back. And then they'll even, like, play innocent. Like, oh, my God, you guys. Like, why you guys just can't get along? And it's like, what? Like, like, this is the type of person that would be like, oh, you know, what happened between you and so-and-so? Oh, okay. And then they'll go ask so-and-so, what happened between you and such-and-such? And, such? and mind you, this is their children. And it's like, mm, they'll go tell your business to that person. And then they'll tell your sister's business to you. And then next thing you know, shit hitting the fan. They like, oh my God, I don't know what happened. Yeah, next thing you know, it's a tower shit in the fan. This person playing innocent. I feel like this person getting called out on a shit once and for all. And for some of you, if this is not your mother, this could just be one of your siblings. This could be like a toxic karmic sister or aunt or something like that. Y'all just take it as it resonates. But some of y'all got an empress in a reverse that's around y'all. This person just miserable. They just unhappy. This person could even be... Um, this person could even be like being exposed in some way for having like a mental issue here. Somebody here may suffer from bipolar disorder. I'm hearing bipolar depression. Okay. Like, listen, I'm no psychologist. I'm no psychiatrist. I am not here diagnosing anybody. I'm just giving the message. Okay. Um, by no way, shape or form am I a doctor. Okay. Like, no, I'm not. And I don't claim to be, I'm just giving the message. These are, these messages are for entertainment purposes only child. Y'all take it as it resonates but somebody here could actually be getting exposed here or somebody here a uh, secret could be getting exposed as far as their mental health is concerned because somebody here could have actually got diagnosed clinically diagnosed um with like a bipolar disorder here bipolar depression is what i heard yeah and the hermit reverse yeah somebody here is going through like a manic episode right now so somebody here could be very manic and just starting shit with somebody starting shit with people okay like they just starting shit with people and you this person is spiraling out of fucking control and for some of y'all this is your sister this is your blood like for some of y'all this could be your relative or this could be your own mama okay or this could just be a friend of yours but whoever this person is they got children okay they got children and whoever they you know it's like damn like this person could be on their own they may not even have the help that they need they they could be like really like just out in the world and like they spiraling out of control and then they got these baby that's these babies that are dependent on them for some of y'all this person got more than one child that's dependent on them okay somebody here is a mom somebody here could be a virgo a pisces a leo okay or they could have that in a chart somebody here could also have libra taurus in a chart somebody here could be a libra a taurus a pisces a leo a virgo or they could have that in a chart um who is this cancer cancer whoever you are you extremely intuitive I feel like you picked up on this shit immediately. 
Okay, so you could be on the outside looking in. Maybe this is your friend. And then for others of you, like I said, this could be your own mother. This could be um, one of your toxic family members, toxic karmic sisters. Take it as it resonates. But you could be discussing with other people what's going on with this person. Or other people are coming towards you and discussing what's going on with this person to you. This person is like... I don't know. Something here is happening with this person. I feel like this is somebody that y'all walked away from, though, because they a liar. They start too much shit. It's too much drama. Every time they in your life, it's like shit hit the fan. Shit just go haywire when they're around. It's like drama just tends to follow this person. And now your life is actually elevating, Cancer. You got good karma here. You got a lot of beautiful things that's happening for you. You are in perfect alignment with your heart's desires. You are in perfect alignment with the universe. You have like this brand new beginning, these brand new opportunities that could be coming into your life. Some of you could also be building a connection with an emperor, okay? There could be a master feeling that's coming into your life if you don't already have one and i feel like somebody here is very jealous of that okay there's a queen of wands in reverse that's very jealous of this this could be this person's ex okay their ex-wife their ex-girlfriend a baby mama or this could even be somebody that's in your family that's hating okay could be this person that's spiraling out of control that i picked up on earlier but there's a queen of wands in the reverse that's very jealous of the fact that you're getting married or you're engaged or you're building a beautiful life with somebody. It's like you're comfortable. You're good. Like you just live in life. Yeah. Nine of cups. You're comfortable. You're good. You're just living life. And whoever this queen of wands in the reverse is, she could actually be in her own relationship, her own marriage. But her and her man both cheat on each other. There's no respect there. There's no love there. And they're both unhappy and they're projecting their negative energy, negative lives onto you. I feel like like you too intelligent you standing your ground you don't give a fuck you clearing that energy right the fuck out like cancer whoever you are you're like yo my sister and her husband are miserable or my brother and his wife are miserable like for some of you this could even be your family members this could be a karmic couple in your family and you just like yo return to sender like y'all keep that negative energy where the fuck y'all at don't bring that shit to my home like yo cancer whoever you are you are super peaceful you showing up as the queen of cups baby that's your energy all day you could have Sagittarius in your chart for some of you or you could have sh you could have other strong water placements in your chart but you a very loving person I feel like you love children you do really well with children you take care of home if you are married you take good care of your husband it's like you just hold shit down something that this bitch know nothing about and she been jealous of y'all since y'all was kids like for some of you this is your fucking sister okay but I'm just saying you don't trust this person you don't like who they become you don't like who they are this person's always been jealous of you they've always tried to start fights with you start conflict for you like this person's just full of shit okay and i just feel like you are putting um some sort of wall here you blocking this person off from like you blocking this person energetically but i also feel like you could be physically like blocking this person as well like if they trying to come towards you you're like nah i'm good i don't need no company i'm not home like nah don't answer your door like you just don't want nothing to do with this person and i feel like they mad they also mad because they feel like you get everything you want cancer why is it that you're so beautiful why is it that you get everything you want oh everybody loves you you've always been the best like even since we were kids you were always the best like somebody here is a fucking hater bro like this bitch been hating on you since y'all was playing in the sandbox child like this is the type of bitch that'll put sand in your hair when y'all was kids and shit or put gum in your hair or something like that like this bitch been a hater for as long as y'all can remember <laughs> like I'm telling you, for some of y'all, it's a sibling, okay? Let's move on, child. <laughs> Let's move on to my Leos. What's going on, Leo babies? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north, no. What's going on with my beautiful and handsome Leos? Who and what's coming towards Leo first half of April? Who and what's coming towards my beautiful and handsome Leos first half of April? Holy Spirit, give me two more shuffles for my Leos. Who and what's coming towards Leo first half of April? Let's see, Leo. Who and what's coming towards you first half of April? What can you expect? Okay, we got the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups in the reverse, and the World reverse at the bottom of the deck. First card on the top, Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, let's see what's going on, Leo. Y'all know I'm going to clarify everything. Somebody here under judgment for being two-faced, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, strong Scorpio, okay? Scorpio here twice, both inverted. Let's see what's going on. Why is the seven of swords in reverse here? This is for Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer. Some of y'all or a Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign, okay? 
Leo, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. Somebody here is under judgment, okay? They two-faced. Their life is stagnant. Nothing is moving forward in their life. This person could be going through some things. They trying to, like, hide it, though. This person is showing up as the Empress in the reverse. This person is trying to hide something that they're going through. They're trying to hide the fact that they're under judgment. Leo, whoever you are, you celebrating. Yeah, you got the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. You could be celebrating right now. You could be celebrating with friends or family members or just people that are good vibes. I feel like somebody else is sick to their stomach about this shit. Somebody here is very codependent and getting calmer. This could be another Leo. This could be another Leo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody with that in a chart. Somebody here is under judgment, getting hella karma. Judgment in a reverse and a will of fortune reverse. I feel like this is because somebody here tried to hold on to something that was yours. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. And now somebody here is worried and scared about the truth coming out, about the past catching up to them. This is somebody here where the past is catching up to their ass. This person tried to take something that belonged to you or they did take something that belonged to you and they was holding on to it. For some of you, this has to do with some sort of money or property, okay? Yeah, I feel like there was somebody here that was just trying to take what was yours. Like somebody here really was trying, to, somebody here could even got somebody to act like they were you. Somebody here could have forged your signature on some sort of documents. You could be finding out about that if you haven't already. I'm also getting here that somebody here could have got somebody to be you. Somebody here could have got somebody that looked like you a little bit and they could have had like a fake ID acting like they was you. Or somebody here was even bold enough to have your name on a fake ID but, but their picture. Like what? Somebody here could have access to your social security number. Y'all gonna be finding out about this shit, okay? Why is the three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here for Leo? Okay, so I feel like somebody here that's heartbroken is wanting to talk to you, but they don't know how to express this. This person could be an earth sign. They could be another Leo like you or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But somebody here is wanting to talk to you, okay, and tell you how they feel. But I feel like you don't really care. It's too late or you don't have no passion. You don't have any passion for this person anymore. This person is pissed off because you're rejecting them. They could also be pissed off because you're receiving some sort of money. You're getting a home. You're getting money. You're getting something here. Some of you, if you had a legal issue with somebody, or let's just say you had a lawsuit, you won. Okay, Leo? Like, this shit is over. It's done. It's being ruled in your favor. And I feel like somebody here is mad about that. You could have Libra in your chart. You could have strong Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart as well. Something significant about strong water. You or them or both of you. But somebody here is under judgment, get a hella karma. They have no protection. They have lost all their spiritual protection if they ever had any. Like, this person's ancestors are turning their back on them. Like, this person done fucked up. This person has broke spiritual laws. Okay, I'm hearing something about hot foot. So, somebody here could have been doing some sort of spell work to track your steps, to track your, your, tr track your feet, track your steps. Somebody here was sending monitoring spirits towards you. You could have been having, like, some sort of paranormal activity around you. Okay, I feel like you already know this. I feel like you don't even fucking care. You, yeah, you don't even care. You could have Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Libra in your chart. I feel like you don't give a shit. Yeah, you don't fucking care because you're selling the karma waters anyway. Some of y'all could be on going on vacation. You could be traveling. I'm hearing something about you being reunited with some people. Something about a family reunion as well. You could be going to a family reunion or somebody else's family reunion. You could be getting invited to like your friend's family reunion. Or some of y'all just planning vacations. You traveling. I'm hearing somebody's going to Hawaii or somebody here is going to Bali. Okay, I'm hearing Bali, Hawaii, something like that. Yeah, and I feel like there's a Gemini here. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another Leo. Whoever this is, this person is in poverty. They're mad because you're leaving them. Yo, you're leaving somebody. Yeah, you feel good about this shit too. The food cart. It's like, whoo. Oh, I'm no longer burdened. This person is burdened by you leaving. They're restless. They're watching you to see where you're going. Where's your next move? Where you going? Now that you got this money, where you going? I know you got this money and you ready to leave me. I know you was only with me because you was down bad. Now that you got this money, now that you got this lawsuit, now that you got this justice, where you going? Where you going? Like somebody here know that once you get your paper, you out. And they like, where you going? Where you going? You're like, oh, I'm going to vacation. Shit, your ass ain't going to never return. For some of y'all, you leaving somebody. <laughs> like, some of y'all leaving somebody as well. 
Ciao. Leo, get in where you fit in. It was a lot, right? That was mixed messages. Y'all just get in where y'all fit in, child. But somebody here leaving. Somebody here like, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Who you with? Where you going? You got your money? Where you going? <laughs> like, somebody here want to know, where the fuck are you going, okay? Like, they need to know. Child, you being stalked, Leo. <laughs> okay, I feel like you being watched, okay? You being stalked in some way, shape, or form. Somebody here is heavily burdened, mad, wishing you ill, wishing you the worst. This person's going through a towel moment. Somebody here could be passing away as well. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be a man, okay, or a Sagittarius here. Somebody here is mad because they're passing away and not you. They was hoping that maybe you would pass away and not them. Damn, so that's why they passing away because they was wishing death on your ass, okay? They was wishing that it was you and not them. Yeah, but you getting married or you got a new beginning, Leo. Congratulations. Yeah, you happy. Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Like, your new beginning could also involve love and marriage. Love and a beautiful relationship, a beautiful connection. And somebody from your past that was being an asshole that was lying on you is going to be wanting to come back towards you. But it's too late. Okay? Also, I'm hearing that somebody that was wishing illness, sickness, death on you and all types of shit, that person is actually losing their life y'all gonna hear about it y'all gonna hear that somebody passed away it was that person especially if you had a toxic connection with them like if this is an ex of yours that was abusive towards you then yeah that person could be passing away and you could be hearing about it oh lord let's move on to my virgos what is going on virgy Virg? shout out to all my virgos out there my virgy verbs virgo you know i love you baby Let's see what's going on, Virgos. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. My beautiful and handsome Virgos out there. What's going on with you, Virgi Virg? Virgi Virg. Who and what's coming towards Virgo first half of April? Who and what's coming towards Virgo first half of April? Okay, I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. We got the world in the reverse. And we got the Hierophant. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. A Taurus, somebody here can have strong Scorpio or Taurus placements. Okay, these motherfuckers are so annoying and irritating. Moving on, the messages are still going to get out. So we have the three of wands in a reverse here. Uh, who is this? This is Virgo, right? Virgo, somebody here could be spiritually attacking y'all or somebody here could be like trying to do like noise intimidation or just irritate you, distract you, bang, make noise, just do stupid shit. Especially if they know that you are like focused on something or you working or you, you know, you're doing something creative. You just trying to chill, you tapping in, you meditate and you exercise and like somebody here knows that you're doing something and they're just trying to interfere with it. They're just trying to be a nuisance. Okay. Somebody here is just trying to like be a fucking nuisance in your life. Clear that shit out. Ignore it. Okay. Like I ain't even going to stop to do anything about it. We just going to keep the fucking messages going. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Like I hope that y'all cool. I hope it's not much of a distraction for you. Somebody here is depressed. That's why. Nine of swords and a ten of swords. Somebody here panicking and they want you to be in fear too. Somebody here scared. Somebody here that's trying to intimidate you or be noisy or like, um, distract you or disrupt your peace this person is fucking miserable only miserable fucks do shit like this nine of cups in the reverse to the ten of swords to the nine of swords somebody here is stressed out they nervous they scared they overthinking they have anxiety this person is depressed they're worried they're unhappy they're going through a fucking towel moment this person is going through a firestorm and this person is bitter because they feel like they made poor choices in the past that's catching up to them this person is fucking scared okay this is somebody that's unhappy they they're scared, they're restless, they're panicking, they don't know what to expect, they don't know what's next, they feel like their karma is hitting them fast, they also feel like some beautiful blessings is coming towards you fast, uh, eight of wands to the ten of pentacles, some of y'all could be getting a large lump sum of money, congratulations Virgo, let me hold something, some of y'all could have got a new job, congratulations, you could have your own business, business is booming, but it's something here where you got some sort of prosperity, some sort of abundance here coming in, and somebody's jealous of you, like they just jealous this person could be a Sagittarius or a Leo they can have strong Sagittarius 
Leo or Gemini placements. These motherfuckers is haters. This Sagittarius, this Leo, this Gemini, this Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, whoever the fuck these idiots are, they just fucking mad. And they've been attacking you. They've been sending you the evil eye. They're mad because you abundant. They're mad because you getting justice. They mad because you the shit. These motherfuckers is jealous of you. And that's the motherfucking truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody here is jealous that you're a leader. Somebody here is jealous of your life. They're jealous of the anointing that you have over your life. They're jealous that you have God in your life somebody is also jealous of your spiritual protection because these motherfuckers know that you're very protected and you want to know why they know you're very protected because they've been behind the scenes doing spell work on you and none of this shit is working somebody here is very fucking annoyed and irritated by your light these are dark individuals that wake up miserable these motherfuckers wake up mad they wake up angry they wake up fighting and arguing you're a whole fucking empress okay you could be getting a new home you could be building a new home you could be moving you could be manifesting this but you got the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles virgo the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles empress you can have strong taurus libra in your chart you the shit mama you the shit virgy virg you could also have cancer scorpio pisces in your chart for some of you you can have strong water, strong Libra, or Taurus in your chart. But you showing up as a leader, someone that's beautiful, someone that's vibrating high, someone that's receiving justice in a situation. Your justice could be a large payout, a, be a beautiful home, a new home, and also a divine partner. Oh my God, Virgo. Some of y'all are going into a divine union. And I feel like whoever this is, you got nothing but love for them. Queen of Cups in the upright. All of these people behind the scenes that's been attacking you, watching you, plotting on you, mad because you financially financially stable mad because you anointed mad because you spiritually protected these motherfuckers is going through a tower they going through a firestorm they under judgment they thieves okay i'm hearing that some of these people are thieves they steal energy or they just steal shit from people okay like we got the star card here somebody is jealous because you a healer as well you could be in the public eyes some of you could be famous or you could be on a road to fame okay for some of you whether you want fame or not it's in your records it's in your destiny it's your destined path to be famous or to be well renowned or to be respected and loved by many something here about you healing the masses you showing up as a healer you're like a spiritual guru for some of you yo you the fucking shit you the fucking truth i feel like people come to you for advice yeah you showing up as the queen of pentacles earth signs there you go you showing up as someone that's responsible someone that's high vibrational an empress a divine being a divine feminine divine masculine a chosen one okay you want a god's favorite and you know that and they know that and that's why they mad somebody is also mad because you're going to be celebrating a big opportunity a big offer you got blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings that's coming in and somebody here knows that your blessing is right here like that shit is right here you touching it you feeling it you tasting it your blessings is right here and this is why motherfuckers is doing the absolute most okay they've been doing the absolute most because everything is coming in really quick it's right there it's right there virgo look at these dumb motherfuckers seven of swords here somebody here could be another virgo like you a scorpio a leo a sagittarius okay a water sign these people are going through a fucking tower they get in hella karma these people was doing spell work on you everything that they was sending your way everything that they was wishing on you was gonna happen to them and when you leave like let's just say these are people that live around you for some of you when you leave when you go into your dream home these motherfuckers lives are gonna get worse because you not nowhere near them anymore so it's like you actually being it's like just imagine people attacking you that live close to you and the minute that you fucking leave, everything in their life fall apart. You actually being around was actually keeping them protected. And they and they and they fucking projecting and attacking you the whole time. And you the motherfucking protection. You being around is actually protecting every fucking body. And they fucking attacking you. The minute that you fucking leave, oh, it's up from here. God about to blow his wrath on these motherfuckers. Somebody here gonna be dying for you to come back. Like, damn, we should have not treated that person that way. Like, they should have stayed over here. Yep, that cycle closed out. That shit is done. Yep, because you're moving forward. I can't make it up the chariot. You're showing up as the queen of swords. You can have Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your chart. You can have Cancer in your chart. I feel like you're building a connection with somebody that's coming towards you and y'all riding off into the sunset together. You about to build a life, build a family with somebody and y'all doing this shit together. Congratulations, Virgo. You and your person riding off to the fucking sunset, okay? This shit is going to be absolutely beautiful. For some of you, there's marriage attached to this too. Oh, this is your wish fulfillment. You manifested this. You called this in. You've healed enough. Your person healed enough in order to get this shit on and popping. 
some of y'all this person gonna ask you to marry them or damn it you gonna ask them to marry you okay y'all take it as it resonates but y'all getting married for some of y'all building a fucking home your dream home your dream life and i'm telling you abundance is your birthright there's nothing but a bunch of fucking money here prosperity financial freedom and these motherfuckers here these karmic distorted motherfuckers that's been trying to disturb your peace disrupt you in any way possible oh them motherfuckers is gonna be facing poverty jail time fucking legal issues <laughs> like they houses is gonna be falling apart some of these people homes are gonna be affected by natural disasters it's gonna be a fucking shit show especially when you're no longer around because for some of you these are people that's in close proximity of you when you no longer around the whole town gonna go up in flames the whole fucking building gonna catch on fire like it's really some shit like that like these motherfuckers gonna be out on their ass <laughs> like it's like a whole town a whole community under judgment no bullshit and as soon as god remove you it's only up from there like anything goes because you're no longer protecting nobody like you being around is the protection these niggas is stupid like these people are stupid yo yeah they unhappy it's like you are a light you are the light in like a big ass dark ass cave like just imagine a big ass cave with a bunch of people living there and they all in darkness and you the only one that has all this light around you you have god in, that lives inside of you you have an anointing yeah you're showing up as a magician like some of these people don't like you because of your belief system or because you're very spiritual you're different from them but even if these people are religious they don't really have god in their life these some of these people suffer from addictions and some of these people are very abusive narcissistic they keep dark secrets some of these people are depressed some of these people are not living in their true selves they hide they pretend to be somebody that they not these people are not happy and here you come with your spiritual ass with your different belief system and then you got the nerve to actually be genuinely happy and you have all this light around you who the fuck do you think you are like these people are jealous of you verb they jealous of you i feel like you get this shit everywhere you go every job every community everything it's like there's always people that are fucking irritated by you because you shine so bright you stand out without even trying you stick out like a sore thumb i'm telling you because you're beautiful you're beautiful you carry this light you are anointed you are one of god's favor you are chosen it's like motherfuckers could see that on you they could see that light they could see that anointed oh i'm about to sneeze <clears throat> i'm channeling so much i'm over here sneezing my nose itching my nose itch a lot when i channel I'm telling you, Virgo, you are one of God's favor. You part of the 144, and motherfuckers can see that. They can pick up on your light. They also know that you are about to blow the fuck up or your dreams are coming true. And they mad. They mad. <laughs> they so mad. Somebody here want to put an end into that shit. Okay? God will end these motherfuckers before anything. They've already tried to end you in some way, shape, or form, but it's too much of a burden for them. They can't do it. Somebody here could even try to take you out. They can't do it. Somebody here could have also try to take out your divine masculine, your partner, your emperor. They can't do it. Both of y'all are too strong, too fucking protected. They can't do it. Somebody here was trying to bind you, keep you blocked, keep you bound, keep you stuck, keep you trapped. Somebody here don't want you to move. Now somebody here could be figuring out what I'm saying is true. And they're going to try to bind you and keep you stuck in one place. They're going to try to keep you stuck where you at. But you moving forward. You're like, hell no, nah, I'm out. Got to go. <laughs> Good luck to y'all. God bless. I'm telling you, some of these people going straight to fucking hell, okay? They're going to experience hell on earth before they get there. Somebody here could be a Gemini. This man, going get. he going straight to hell. All right, <laughs> let's move on to my... <laughs> Lord, let's move on to my Libra, child. What's up, Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, what's going on, Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, Libra. Who and what's coming towards my Libra's first half of April? Who and what's coming towards Libra, first half of April, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Who and what's coming towards Libra? Okay, Libra, we got the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, love it, and we got the Four Swords in Reverse. Okay, so <laughs> your happiness, your comfortability is like really breaking somebody's heart. 
um, somebody here is very restless, okay, because they're watching you. Somebody here is watching you and seeing how peaceful you are, seeing how happy you are, and they're mad. It's like, how the fuck are you still good? Like, so this is somebody, <laughs> yeah, they, they fucking mad. Look at this shit. Queen, this was in reverse. Yo, bitch tight, yo. Somebody here talking hella shit. Somebody here could be an air sign like you, or they could have strong air in their chart. Somebody here could be an air sign or a Pisces. They like, Fuck. Yes, they fighting with other people too. Whoever this bitch is, she put money up to see you suffer in some way, and that shit is not working. <laughs> yeah, you got the will of fortune, Libra. Everything is actually transforming for you for the better. Everything's working out in your way, working out in your favor. Excuse me. Everything is going according to the according to God's plan. Okay, God's plan for your life is definitely in full effect. Um, everything is going according to his plan, universal alignment, divine timing, like it is what it is, Libra. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of angel numbers. You could be seeing ascending or descend descending angel numbers. So you could be seeing like 1234, 123, 321, 543, 435, numbers like that going up, going down. But you are in a perfect alignment, okay, with divine timing with the universe, okay? You getting everything you want. Somebody here going through an extreme time moment. Somebody here really was like waiting for you to have some sort of fall. Libra, there's a queen of swords in the reverse that was waiting for you to fail, waiting for you to fall. This person could be another Libra like you, a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Pisces. They could have that in a chart. Somebody here mad because you committing to an emperor. Look at this shit. We got the emperor and the empress. Oh, Libra, are you with your divine counterpart? Are you in your divine union? Congratulations, boo. Okay, but you and this person are mirroring each other. This is your person. This is your kingdom spouse. There's a higher level of commitment that's here. This is a spiritual union and partnership. This is a godly union. Look how this came out. Y'all got God in between, y'all. A lot of stability, a solid foundation. This is absolutely beautiful, Libra the empress the emperor and the hierophant in between y'all oh yeah y'all about to have a godly union a sacred divine union a marriage for some of you you could be in a public aisle or your person is or both of you are but six of wands good news celebration victory success these people that's been caught trying to cause drama for you or this person or both of you are all under judgment somebody here is mad they fighting with other people they upset this is somebody that's a jezebel spirit a gold digger this is somebody that's very money hungry very materialistic they're fucking mad because the person that you with could be very wealthy or you're very wealthy or you both are destined for wealth destined for greatness this bitch is jealous okay this is somebody that wanted to see you have a permanent end in some sort of pain and suffering this person wants your destiny like this person is so heartbroken look at this bitch queen of, yo this is crazy queen of pentacles reverse queen of swords reverse the death card the moon reverse oh somebody big fucking mad they heartbroken okay like they're mad because everything that they want is getting rejected this person ruined whoever this bitch is she ruined her own destiny by coming for you you still getting married you still got this beautiful divine union this spiritual contract with somebody you still about to live your best fucking life with somebody and it ain't shit that this heifer could do about it and she's mad yeah she toxic as fuck somebody here could be a capricorn another libra like you a gemini aquarius a pisces yeah somebody here is fucking mad because you working together with the love of your life somebody here wanted you to reject this person or they wanted this person to stay away from you to reject you somebody here went as far as trying to take you out of here or take this person out of here like these motherfuckers did the absolute most somebody here is actually really depressed somebody here could be a virgo a capricorn a pisces okay another air sign like you a scorpio there was so many people involved here trying to keep two people away from each other. This is the most pathetic, the most saddest shit I've ever seen. But this is also the most beautiful shit I've ever seen, Libra, because you about to be living your dream life. You're going to be feeling like life can't get any better than this. Libra, this is your justice, okay? Good karma, karmic justice is here, baby. Will of fortune and justice. This is your year, baby. This is the year you get everything you want. Year eight, all the good energy that you've been putting out into the universe is being mirrored back into your life tenfold and there's a lot of people that's heavily burdened weighed down fighting gossiping motherfuckers pay money to see you have a fall to see you fail to see you be out of here to see this person have a fall or be out of here none of that shit worked on neither one of y'all 
and all of these people that was involved are fighting amongst each other. Meanwhile, you showing up as someone that's healing. You could also be helping others transform their lives for the better. Libra, that could be a part of your purpose. You definitely know your life purpose. You could be doing something that's associated, that's affiliated with your life purpose. But I'm hearing for some of you, you barely scratching the surface. Yeah, you were the king of pentacles. Your person is an earth angel too. Both of y'all are earth angels. We got the queen. No, we got the king of swords here, the temperance, the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Like, come on now. The emperor, the empress, the hierophant. You, it's like you both are earth angels. This is why this is showing up as a sacred, divine, spiritual contract. This is a divine union. This person is blessed. You are blessed. Y'all have no stress, no issues, no nothing. This is so fucking beautiful. This relationship, this marriage is going to feel perfect. This person is going to feel like you're perfect for them. You're going to feel like they're perfect for you. You guys are going to just be healing, growing, evolving, and getting to the fucking bag together. You guys are going to build a beautiful, beautiful life together. And it's like, you could have been getting hella attacks. This person could be getting hella attacks right now because this shit is coming into place, okay? It already came into place for some of you. Congratulations. You could also be having like a baby with this person. There's a spirit baby that needs to be born for some of you. Oh my God, Libra. For some of you, you could actually be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations. Some of you could be pregnant right now right now for others of you this is what's in the future this is what's in the cards for you but there's a spiritual baby there's a spirit baby that's supposed to be born okay i feel like this baby is already born it has already been put out into the ethers into the universe that this needs to happen in this realm it needs to happen in the 3d it needs to manifest now like some of you have a really gifted child it's like you both are earth angels you both are blessed you both are chosen ones and it's like your baby is going to be favored your baby is going to be chosen as well it's like two fucking earth angels was coming together and having a star seed like what the fuck libra this is powerful as fuck and you're gonna be so happy this person gonna be so happy y'all gonna be so in love with each other and this union look at this shit this is so protected like oh my god libra this is the most beautiful shit i have ever seen ten of pentacles ten of cups two of cups and the four of wands equal give and take partnership marriage a godly union a godly marriage a divine union and it's protected seven of wands it's like my motherfuckers was trying to attack y'all to keep this from coming together and now that it has actually come together motherfuckers gonna be trying to attack y'all to tear y'all apart and spirit said it's protected like not only was y'all protected individually before y'all came together now that y'all actually together you and everything this person touch and love and own is gonna be protected y'all protection is out of this fucking world this is some beautiful ass shit libra i hope you fucking ready shit i hope you ready sis i hope you ready bro i'm telling you this is gonna be like power couple times 10 like this is power couple on a whole nother fucking level like you could have been wondering like what the fuck i do to all these people why are these people coming for me shit it's because you got this bitch okay it's because you got this coming in all right if it hasn't already okay that's where all this shit coming from that's what the hate that's where the hate coming from you know, come on now, like devil trying to tear you down because you have a true anointing and big purpose over your life. And so does your person. Y'all going to fucking change the fucking world together. Absolutely amazing, Libra. Let's move on to my Scorp Scorps. What's up, Scorpio? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. What's going on with my beautiful and handsome Scorpios? Who and what's coming towards you, Scorp? Let's see, baby. Who and what's coming towards my Scorpios? Let's see. Some of you could be receiving some sort of quick, fast communication from somebody. Somebody here could be angry, though. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here could also be lying to y'all. Okay, so just be mindful of somebody coming towards you with some sort of information, some sort of communication. I feel like whatever this person is saying, it ain't really the truth. We got the King of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Swords in the reverse, and we got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Talk to me nice. Scorpio, be mindful of work issues as well, work-related issues. There could be drama at the workplace for some of you, okay? So just stay out of it. Like, just stay out of that shit. Don't entertain the bullshit. 
just do your job, clock out, go home, do what you got to do, okay? I feel like for some of you as well, you could be moving or you could be looking for a new home, okay? There could be like toxic energy around you. you like, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here. Like some of y'all could be connected to a Leo, a Capricorn, a Virgo Taurus, okay? Some of y'all connected to an Earth sign or a Leo, somebody with that in a chart. Some of y'all realize that you are in an unfulfilling situation for real. It's like, yo, I'm unhappy. I'm tired of pretending that I'm happy with this person. Whoever this is, they got a lot of karmic debt to pay. This Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this Leo, whoever this person is, they under judgment right now. And it's like, you could be feeling it too. Yeah, y'all are breaking up with this person. Some of y'all share home with this person, so it's kind of difficult, but you this either this person is moving out you moving out or y'all both just deciding to separate yeah somebody here could be a virgo okay but i'm telling you whoever this virgo Taurus, capricorn this leo is it's like this relationship is coming to an end you guys are done yeah i feel like somebody here was like trying to decide like do i want to stay with this person do i not um but scorpio i really do feel like you just want to let go or maybe this person is thinking about letting you go y'all take it as it resonate but somebody here is also nervous and worried okay about their future in some way shape or form somebody here could be worried about their job as well or their finances somebody here could also be really jealous of somebody okay somebody here could be like working for somebody that's an asshole so somebody here could have a shitty ass manager a shitty ass boss okay also i'm seeing here that a queen of wands in every verse could be under judgment somebody here could actually be passing away there could be an aries leo or a sag that's passing away and there could be a gemini libra or an aquarius man that's sad this could be your friend or this could be somebody that y'all work that y'all work with or that y'all work for y'all just take it as it resonates but these, there's a lot of people here that's under judgment and if y'all hear like the background noise child it's just that the energy been bad motherfuckers been trying to block me stop me from giving my messages irritate me distract me it ain't working the message is still coming out okay but somebody here could be a gemini an aries leo sag or a pisces but somebody here getting hella karma you gonna see this play out if this person is in a marriage or in a relationship with somebody the person that they with is also getting karma this could be people that y'all are close to or work together with in some way shape or form i also feel like scorpio for some of you somebody here is going to be trying to come back towards you and apologize for doing you wrong because they're getting karma somebody here really did you wrong man and they get in hella fucking karma. This could even be another Scorpio. This Gemini, this Pisces, this fire sign, this other Scorpio is going to be apologizing. This person is going to need your forgiveness. Like, it's something here about this person feeling like they have to actually be straightforward about why they sorry, what it is that they did to you. And they need to actually hear you say you accept their apology in order for them to feel like, you know, good. Like, somebody here has a guilty conscience now. Somebody here could be tormented by spirits and shit. So, they just feel like they have this guilty conscience and they got to say something some of y'all was also in a crazy toxic relationship with somebody that could have been emotionally physically or mentally abusive this person could have been a fellow water sign they could have been a fellow water sign or a fire sign okay but this is somebody that is now trying to heal okay or they claim they trying to heal I don't really trust this person. I don't feel like you should trust this person. Yeah, you don't. The Magician reversed, the Two of Cups reversed, the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that didn't fully invest in you. They treated you bad when they had the chance to be with you for real, for real. And this is somebody that is wanting to come in because you're being celebrated during this time. A lot of y'all are getting a lot of good news. There's good news coming towards you. Everything is happening for you pretty quickly here. Some of you could be getting a new job offer as well. You could be going into a business, a new business, a new business setting, business environment. Some of you could even be creating your own business. You could be somebody that's seen as a leader. You could be a boss. You could be being put into a leadership role. Some of you could even be um, receiving some sort of uh, promotion where you're going to be put into a leadership role. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. I feel like a lot of people are jealous about this. You also have past people that are bitter about your success because you're showing up as the empress. You're showing up as a divine feminine, a divine being. You're showing up as someone that has healed a lot. Somebody here is also mad because you have love in your life or they could have found out that you're dating. There's a king of cups reverse, king of wands reverse that's pissed. I'm telling you, it's a fellow water sign or a fire sign that's mad that you're moving on in your life, that you're happy, you're celebrating, you're confident. You've been
been looking good. Some of you could be buying new clothes as well. Some of you could really be spending more time as far as your physical appearance is concerned. Not saying that you don't always look good, Scorpio, but you could be putting a little bit extra time into your outfits, into your appearance. Yeah, you out here, you single, you looking good, you living your best life. Some of you could really be outside. People could be inviting you out and you actually going. And it's like somebody here is mad because they wanted you to be like isolated. They wanted you to be alone, feeling lonely, feeling blue, feeling sad, depressed, missing them. Like, hell no. This person ain't even nothing to miss, child. I feel like you don't love this person. If you did love this person, you fell out of love with them already. You're receiving good karma, karmic justice here. You're showing up as someone that's tempered, well-mannered, balanced, patient. You've made a conscious decision to let this person go. You know that this person has been trying to energetically stalk you is what I'm hearing. So somebody here could be spying on you spiritually or trying to use divination to look into your life. Somebody here could be abusing divination to look into your life. I feel like it don't even fucking matter at this point. You don't even care what somebody knows, what they see. You just like, you ain't going to do shit anyway. You can't do shit, bitch. <laughs> like Scorpio, that's how you feel. I'm so weak. Like y'all are so funny. Some of y'all also, some of y'all for a small portion of you, there could also be somebody that's in jail, that's missing you. It's like, if this person is supposed to be getting out soon, they think that they're going to be able to come back towards you after they get out, after they get released. And I just feel like it's not working like that. Like, this is somebody that's abusive as fuck. You like, uh-uh, you ain't coming over here after you get released. You know, even if this person wasn't even abusive towards you, they just toxic as fuck. And this person has the tendency to always get into trouble. Like, they can't stay out of trouble for too long. Trouble just seems to find this person so it's like once they get out they think they coming towards you you like hell no nah, you ain't coming over here like <laughs> you like hell no nah. like this person like i'm home baby you like oh no ain't no baby ain't no none of that like this person like i'm home like uh-uh you home what that mean <laughs> like you ain't coming over here home is not where i am at okay like this person gonna be like i'm home honey like no nope. somebody trying to get out come straight to you you like hell no nah. You may care about this person, but you ain't really trying to take on everything that they coming along with. You like, nah, I'm good. Give me some space. Yeah, this person gonna be trying to fight with you about this shit. Like, let me stay. Like, why you doing me like that? You know I ain't got no car. You know I'm fucked up. You know I gotta build myself back up. You like, listen, I'm I'm sorry to hear that, but you you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. Like, oh, Scorpio, there you are, Dev Car and Starburst. Somebody here could be an Aquarius as well, if I didn't say Aquarius earlier. Yeah, you don't trust somebody. You feel like drama is going to follow this person. You already know how this shit go. This is somebody that you have past history with, and it's like drama just always seems to follow this person. This person is always in the middle of some shit, and you just don't want them bringing none of that shit your way. And I feel you. I feel you. Let's move on to my Saggies. What's going on, Saggy? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No. What's up, Saggy, baby? Let's see. Who and what's coming towards you first half of April, Sag? Who and what's coming towards my beautiful and handsome Sagittarius out there? Two more shuffles for big Saggy. Let's see, Saggy. You know I love you. Let's see, pumpkin. Who and what's coming towards you, Sagittarius? All right, baby, baby, baby. We got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Oh, my God. Retrograde is here. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Oh, my God. Six of Cups. So, somebody is missing you from your past. This person is going through hella karma, okay? They feel like they're going through karma and they want to come back, okay? This person could be having some sort of legal issues as well, okay? Justice in the reverse. This person could have got caught up in some bullshit, all right? I feel like whoever you are, you single, you independent, you carefree. You ain't got those type of problems. This person could be a Cancer, a Leo, a Aries, a Sagittarius, a Libra, somebody with that in a chart. Okay, yeah, definitely could be a Leo. We got strong Leo here twice in the reverse. Okay, whoever this person is, they done got caught the fuck up. They mad. They could be telling you about what they going through, about how they stuck, how they, how, you know, something ain't going right for them. Okay, this person is showing up as the emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that could be wanting to come towards you passionately, maybe manifest a connection with you. They could be feeling like a strong connection to you. They could be wanting to come towards you, live with you, be in your home. For some of you, you could have put this person out though. Some of you could have divorced this person, put this person out or somebody else is divorcing this person and putting them out and they could be wanting to come towards you like if, if this person was dealing with a third party them and that third party broke up or somebody here put their asses the fuck out and it's like 
they lost now and they want to come back to you like somebody here wants to actually come back to you somebody here could have lost everything somebody here could have made a bad investment okay or somebody here could have stole something and that's why they got legal issues as well somebody here could be a scammer they could be getting caught up on some scamming shit on some fraud like this person is in some hot water they in some shit i feel like you thinking about working together with them but then on the flip side you like maybe i should just chill because the last time i fucked with this person it was a lot going on and so some of y'all you feel like this person is toxic you feel like they need to change they need to heal they need to evolve they need to make better choices in life for some of you there's also a king of swords that's around this could be somebody in your family or this could even be like a cop a lawyer okay somebody here could also have like a probation officer somebody here could be on probation somebody here could also be told that they got to be on house arrest too like it's like somebody here just really going through it sagittarius whoever you are i feel like this person is upset setting the fuck out of you like they're making you mad okay or this person is another they could be a sag like you a leo a aries for some of you you're dealing with a fellow fire sign or a capricorn or an air sign but i promise you whoever this is they're going through a lot and i feel like you got to stand your ground with this person it's like this person is going to end up causing issues for you or that's how you feel okay like that's how you feel like you feel like this person is going to end up causing issues for you and you feel like you got to stand your ground you got to stand up for yourself you got to put this person in a place you got to let them know like nah i don't want to be a part of this i don't want to be in this with you because i know that shit gonna hit the fan in your life and i can't really go down with you i feel like somebody here is disappointed because you're not being a ride or die like whoever this person is they're selfish because it's like they don't mind you going through a towel with them they don't mind you getting karma with them like this person wants you to hold them down by any means necessary and i just feel like you ain't trying to go out like that like this is somebody here that y'all could have even had children with for some of you, this could be a baby daddy or this is somebody that you just had a relationship with or a connection with in some way, shape, or form. But this person, it's like you feel like they don't even love you. It's like they just want your support. They just want your help. And they just want you to go down with them. They don't want to go down by themselves while you still out here living your best life. This person is mad because they got caught up. Okay, they could have also got caught with a third party and that could be another reason why you ain't looking out for them and they could be using that against you like, oh, you're not going to help me because you caught me with so-and-so or because I cheated on you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe you don't have this person back because they cheated on you. But either way, you don't give a fuck at this point. You don't trust them. You just feel like it's too much. It's too much of a burden, too much of a headache to deal with this person. you like, yo, figure your shit out on your own. I'm wishing you the best, but you can't be over here. You can't stay over here. You drink it. You draining me. You bringing me too much. You bringing me too many problems. You bringing me too much drama. I don't want it. I don't want the headache. I don't want the drama. I don't want to be tied in the middle of your bullshit. I don't want to be tied into your bullshit. <laughs> okay. This person is trying to come towards you. For some of you, if this person is at a distance, they're going to be trying to come travel towards you. But I feel like this cycle is definitely closed out, Saggy. With the world card here, I feel like this cycle is definitely closed out. This person could be wanting to be your friend or they could be very apologetic. This person also wants to sleep with you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. It's like a lot of passion coming from this person. They're watching you to see if you are sleeping with somebody or did you take an offer from somebody else. They could also be watching you to see if you receive some sort of money or something like that. This person is depressed. They hope you didn't get something, okay? Like somebody here is hoping you don't get something, okay? They hoping that you don't be successful without them. Like, I don't know. It's like, mm -mm. that person toxic and y'all know it. Yeah, confirmation. Like, that person toxic as hell. Toxic as fuck. Like, this person want to drag you in they shit. This person is going down for something that they did and they trying to like bring you into the middle of it don't fall for it let this person go down on their own i feel like that's exactly what y'all doing like this person is going to try to drag you in the middle of their shit mm -mm. i feel like everything is leading up to them and they just trying to get you to incriminate yourself in some way i'm also hearing that somebody's phone could be tapped so if this person's phone is tapped or your phone is tapped because they was investigating this person, they just want to see what's going on with you too, you need to be mindful of that, okay? Somebody here's phone could definitely be tapped, okay? It could be a Gemini, a Leo, a Virgo. Yeah, we got the high priestess here, Sagittarius. You could be very intuitive, okay? Or you could be mad because whoever they was doing something to is intuitive, and this is why the, the plan is failing or somebody's heavily protected. And this is why the plan is failing. Yo, you need to just stay out of this, Sag, because 
I feel like for you, you still got like a future. This person don't like that's how this shit is showing up. Y'all need to be careful. This King of Wands in the reverse gonna have you in a, a a bunch of shit right along with them. Like this person feels like they've ruined their life in some way, and it's like they're gonna definitely help you ruin yours as well. Y'all need to like just do away with that person for real. Let's move on to my um. Capricorns, because I feel like whoever that is, they try to take as many people down with them as they possibly can. Like this person know that they're already in hot water. They know they're already in shit. And so they just trying to take other people down with them as many people as they can. I'm telling you. Let's move on with, to my Capricorns. What's up, Cappy? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Cappy. Who and what's coming towards my Capricorns first half of April? Who and what's coming to us? Capricorn, first half of April, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Who and what's coming to us, my Capricorns, first half of April? Capricorn. Three of Pentacles reversed. Tower reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign. Somebody here could be done with a cancer. Capricorn, you could have strong cancer in your chart for some of you. Um, I just feel like somebody here is, is wanting you, okay? Yeah, it's definitely a Scorpio. Somebody here dealing with a Scorpio, a fire sign, a Taurus, a Libra. Somebody here want to be a family with you. Somebody, Capricorn, what is this? Somebody here want to be a family with you. Or somebody here want to talk to you about how you feel about having a baby. It's okay. Like, for some of y'all, if you in childbearing age and you dealing with this person that I'm picking up on, this person want to have a baby with you. But they could be asking you about it first. Like, this is somebody that may want to have that conversation with you. Like, how you feel about this. How you feel about having a baby. Like, what you want to do. Like, how you feeling about this. But for some of you, I feel like you are remaining single. You want to be single. This person's like, what? Like, you don't want to have a family with me. You don't want to be a family. You're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, some of y'all actually blocking this person. Oh, my God. Could be a Pisces for some of y'all. Somebody here could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a fire sign. I feel like you are blocking somebody here. You're done. Yeah, it could be a Virgo as well. For some of y'all... There's somebody that's upset about some sort of money as well that they thought they was getting, that they not getting. Give me something on this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here could be a Gemini or they could have that in a chart. Uh, Capricorn, you could be wanting to go towards somebody here as well. About some sort of money here. Yeah, somebody here thought they was getting something and they not. The cycle closed out. They not getting anything. Like, somebody here thought they was getting something. Capricorn, I don't know if this is you or somebody that y'all are dealing with. Y'all just get in where y'all fit in. This could be happening outside of you. But I'm telling you, somebody here thought they was getting something, and they could have just realized that they not getting shit, and they're mad. Yeah, somebody here is mad because they not getting something. Somebody here was actually waiting to get something. They're not getting it. <laughs> A high priestess is getting it, okay? High priestess to the three of cups. Capricorn, this could be you. You could be very spiritual. You could be very intuitive, very gifted. I feel like you knew this was going to happen like this. Somebody here sending you the evil eye now because it's like, how the fuck did you know that? And it's like, bitch, I got gifts. So some of y'all could be readers. You could do what I do, okay? But some of you could just get a lot of downloads. You very intuitive. It's like you get premonitions. Yeah, you called this shit. I feel like for some of y'all, you knew this. Like, you knew how this shit was going to play out. High Priestess, Three of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. You could have um, strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces placements in your chart for some of you. But you called something. You knew how something would turn out. You knew that something would work out in your favor. Yeah. You could have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, uh, Pisces in your chart for some of you. But you knew how something was going to play out. Like somebody here can't believe how healed you are, how powerful you are, how protected you are. Somebody attacked an earth angel. Uh, Capricorn, you're an earth angel. And somebody here is pissed off because they see you and they see how strong you are. 
they see that you healing they see that you have healed they see that you shining yeah somebody here's like what the fuck like they can't believe how god be protecting you how god be looking out for you like somebody here is like what the fuck this don't even make no sense who has this kind of protection you okay it could be another capricorn that was attacking y'all okay but it was multiple people here like sending you the evil eye or attacking you or this is what's about to happen for some of y'all and it's because you elevate and it's because you're growing you're healing you're reaching new levels in your life for some of you you could even have a divine masculine that's coming in that's gonna love you properly yes ace of pentacles to the knight of wands like this person is fine as hell they sexy they a real man they showing up as an emperor a leader a boss it's like you could be traveling with this person this could be somebody at a distance from y'all this person is confident they strong they got a good they got a strong personality like there's somebody that's very jealous of you jealous of your new beginning somebody here is trying to keep you bound trying to keep you stuck into some old paradigm some old way of thinking but that shit is over it's clipped it's like somebody here trying to drag you to your south node when you living in your north no i just told libra this earlier today i think so some of you could definitely have libra in your chart you could have libra taurus leo virgo sagittarius in your chart for some of you but you moving on some of y'all could be going across seas going across the body of water you could be sailing the common waters some of y'all could actually be traveling okay or you could be traveling with your emperor but we got both the emperor and the empress here you got a lot of people from your past that's gonna feel like it's unfair for you to be in this connection for you to be happy like this a lot of people gonna be feeling like you leaving them behind but i feel like you don't get a fuck because your wish fulfillment is here this is something that you've been trying to manifest call in this is something that you've been praying for this is something that you've been searching for and it's finally here the magician the four of wands and the ace of cups you getting everything you want capricorn and i feel like you deserve it there you go baby showing up as the queen of pentacles you deserve this you deserve to be happy you deserve to be married you deserve to have this fulfilling relationship you deserve to have this prosperity this abundance you deserve all of this and i feel like these people are just jealous okay there's a king of pentacles in the reverse that was trying to betray you somebody here could have been trying to like rob you or steal from you okay like somebody here was trying to rob you of your energy is what i'm really getting so this is like an energetic spiritual setup a spiritual stick up like somebody here was like real bold enough to like collaborate with multiple people here to like energetically steal from you to rob you of your spiritual um to rob you of your energy it's like somebody here knows that you're abundant and they feel like they can manifest with using your energy like they can manifest off your energy so somebody here was trying to like spiritually like set you up stick you up in some way motherfuckers is crazy <laughs> okay people the moral of the story is people are fucking looney tunes okay people are fucking looney tunes that's the moral of the story let's move on to my aquarius sun moon venus rising north no aqua what's going on baby hey aquarians my fellow air signs my sugar snaps my honey buns my pumpkin pies what's up aqua aqua what's going on baby somebody here said your shit is like whoa bitch okay like somebody here said that you got that aquafina you got that water aquarius i don't know what's going on i don't know who you let hit who you let get a little taste of your boo but somebody here said you got that water your shit is like straight water okay i heard that you got that snapping back make them niggas act right and come back okay like i don't know you got that snap back okay i'm hearing mike epps when he be saying snap back see Mac. okay some of y'all got that snap back and i'm hearing a bitch don't need no vinegar either okay aquarius what is going on here y'all always coming through with the entertaining energy the entertaining messages aquarius i love reading for y'all okay that should be too funny each and every time all right sun moon venus rising north no aqua who and what's coming towards you aquarius let's see somebody said you got that water <laughs> we got the two of wands here the full card. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or another Aquarius like you. Somebody with that in a chart. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Um, let me just tell you, Aquarius, if you single, okay, or if you got like no strings attached situations, connections, entanglements going on, it's like somebody here is mad because you're not choosing up, okay? Somebody here is like, yo, choose up. Like, you can't have us all. You can't keep going on dates with all of us. Like, you got to pick one, okay? So maybe you told somebody that you 
are open or you just exploring your options you don't really want to be tied down you're not trying to settle down right now for some of you you just dating okay you could be getting back out there you know maybe you haven't gone on a date in a long time it's like you just want to go out there you want to explore you want to see what's out there motherfuckers got attitudes okay Aquarius you need to choose up who it's gonna be it's gonna be me or him you gonna be with me or her what, what you doing like that's how somebody feeling okay there could be a Scorpio that's in love with y'all though some of y'all could have a Scorpio that's madly in love with you this person could be going through a lot of legal issues they could be going through some issues right now this person could be scared that they getting locked the fuck up okay but I feel like this person is under judgment and so is their family but this is actually like protection for you in some way shape or form so whoever this is they are saying that they in love with you but i feel like this person is very controlling at times and it's like this person having all these legal issues or having these problems or going to jail or something like that is actually your protection whether you realize it or not it's like this is a blessing in disguise for some of you okay i feel like you got a lot of eyes on you during this time somebody's watching you and seeing how happy you are okay yes it's a scorpio you got a strong scorpio here man there's a scorpio so heavily in your energy okay i feel like this person is in love with you they really are but i feel like this person upset you and so you walking away from them okay you could be walking away from this person because of all the shit that they going through or you could be walking away from this person because of like them lying to you in some way okay somebody here could also be like unhappy when it comes to your money when it comes to your finances somebody here could be wanting to attack you because of some sort of wealth or stability that you have or that you could be coming into give me something on this five of wands and this five of swords yeah seven of wands i feel like for some of you it's best for you to like lay low or, or some of y'all are going to be traveling you could be going a distance vacation or something like that somebody here gonna be trying to like set you up in some way because you're not holding them down or they feel like you just turned your back on them okay yeah but we got the will of fortune here aquarius i feel like you super protected everything is working out in your favor you're gonna be just fine but i feel like sometimes you have a hard time believing that okay with the star reverse there you go Aquarius that's your energy right there some of y'all could also be dealing with somebody else that got strong Aquarius in a chart but I feel like you have somebody here that can't get over you that's stuck on you that's jealous of the life that you live in it's like you got a lot of money here Aquarius you could be somebody that's in the public eye or you could be somebody that's about to be in the public eye maybe this is a part of your um your destiny okay in some way shape or form but it's like somebody here jealous that you be going out you be celebrating you could spend money the way you want like you're very abundant like money just flows to you there's a king of swords in the reverse here that's trying to cause issues for you this could be another aquarius a taurus a gemini libra or cancer there's somebody here that's trying to cause a lot of issues for you in regards to love this could be a gemini too if i didn't say that already a virgo or fire sign somebody here that you used to deal with from your past is just popping up out of nowhere this could also just be the spirit of somebody this could be somebody that y'all used to deal with that passed away but it's like this person's spirit is like still haunting you in some way shape or form this person don't want you to have love in your life they don't want you to be sleeping with nobody they don't want you to have like any romance in your life but i feel like you manifesting everything you want regardless of this person trying to energetically latch onto you so okay try to fuck again yeah you still in the karma waters you're showing up as someone that's going in a new direction investing in yourself taking a great leap of faith no risk no reward no risk no magic yeah i feel like you are somebody that's a master manifester some of you could be doing something very special for this with this eclipse energy or there's a call for you to okay something significant about moon water as well okay there's an empress in a reverse here that could be doing spell work on you who's this empress in a reverse give me sign on this empress reverse this person is doing spell work on you because they mad that a player wants you i feel like you don't even want this player this person toxic as fuck could be a capricorn somebody with strong capricorn libra taurus and hr somebody here going through an extreme time moment trying to come back to 
towards you. They don't want to cycle to close out with you. They want to work together with you. And I feel like it's a hell no. You see this person as a liar, someone that's sneaky, someone that's deceptive, manipulative. This person wants to juggle you. Um, and they also want you to juggle like a real emperor and numb. And I just feel like it's a fuck no. Like you're not about to allow this past person to ruin your blessings. You're not about to let this past person come in, distract you and block your blessings, delay your blessings. It's a fuck no. Aquarius, I'm hearing it's a fuck no, fuck that nigga. <laughs> okay. Like it's something like that. I'm hearing it's a fuck no, fuck him, fuck him. Okay. City girls, we up. Somebody here made, oh, that's so funny. Young Miami is an Aquarius. So some... You know what? Let me get the hell out of this message. <laughs> yeah, let me get out of this message. But somebody here could be um a City Girls fan or something like that. Moving on. <laughs> Let's go to my Pisces. What's up, Pisces? That's crazy. Sun moving. Child. Sun moving is rising north. No, Pisces. What's up, Pisces? Baby, how you guys feeling? How y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get into your message. Who and what's coming towards Pisces first half of April? Holy Spirit, who and what's coming towards my beautiful and handsome Pisces first half of April? Okay, Pisces, I see the Ace of Swords, okay? The Three of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Swords, Three of Cups in the reverse. The Lovers in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or somebody here could have strong Gemini placements. You, them, both of you. We got the Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Lovers in the reverse, and the Page of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. First card on the top flipped over is the Empress. Okay, Empress, I love to see it. I love to see you. Okay, so there's an Empress in this situation. Somebody here is under judgment. Could be a whole family, a whole group of people, a community of people. But, you know, somebody here was working to destroy an Empress, and it's not working. Pisces, this could be your own fucking family. Or this could be a group, a family of other people, okay? A community of people, your family, a group of people, something like that. These people are under judgment, though. Yeah, they feel like they missed out on the opportunity to destroy you. You chilling. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Ten of fucking Pentacles. And somebody here is watching you live your best life. All evil eyes went blind. No weapon formed against you. Prosper. Somebody's going to be trying to come towards you that was trying to sabotage you and destroy you in some way. And you standing your ground. You telling this person to kick fucking rocks as the fuck you should. You could have Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius in your chart. You could also have Taurus in your chart for some of you. You celebrating some sort of money, some sort of victory, success, a windfall. You could be getting a large lump sum of money a payout some of you your business is booming okay more clientele more sales some of you could be getting a promotion a raise uh, increasing your salary but your fucking money is increasing okay wealth 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 i'm hearing generating wealth just wealth out the ass abundance of financial prosperity financial freedom like oh my god is here yeah, you're celebrating, you're happy, you're showing up as the queen of cups, someone that's loving, someone that's at the vibration of love, okay? You are like high vibrational as fuck, okay? You vibrating at the frequency of love, yes. And I feel like there's a cancer that's hating on you. There could be a Taurus that's hating on you. Somebody knows for a fact that you protected. You a fucking earth angel. Yo, Pisces, you an earth angel. What's up, sis? What's up, bro? What's up? You a whole earth angel. And there's a Gemini, a Taurus, a Cancer that's jealous of you. Somebody with that in a chart. Somebody here did so many things to destroy you. Yeah. Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer could be significant. These motherfuckers did so many things to destroy you, to block you, to cause some sort of time moment for you. These people are jealous of the money you make or the money that you will be making. I mean, your life is set forever. Like, you straight forever. Like, you're going to be forever good. You're going to be always eating. Like, it's something here about you being straight, you being set for life that got a lot of people upset. Somebody here feel like you don't deserve this. Like, it's unfair that you have this. Like, you don't need this. You already have a, a lot. You already have enough. So, these motherfuckers, this is like hating ass family for some of y'all. I'm hearing you already have enough. You don't need no more. You don't need nothing else. You doing good. You doing all right for yourself. These motherfuckers should be ashamed of themselves, okay? Yes, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Like, somebody is mad because you receiving justice in a situation. Some of y'all could actually be winning a lawsuit. 
You could be winning a legal case. Some of y'all could have even won a case that you ain't even know nothing about. Motherfuckers was trying to take from you and it's not going down. You going from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. I'm, heard, I'm hearing that they found you. So somebody here found you. Maybe somebody was looking for you or trying to figure out what's your address or something like that. For some of you, somebody, some of y'all could be receiving a mail, a piece of mail, a mail, an important letter, something significant about some sort of legal documents. For others of you, something here about legal documents that somebody stole or somebody here could have had like some fugazi ass legal documents. They get in trouble for that shit. Somebody here could have put your signature on some shit as well. You could be finding out about that. Yes, the moon reverse. You could be finding out about that. I'm also getting here something about um somebody stealing your mail. Okay, like somebody here could have stole your mail or your mail could have went to a different location that you no longer work, uh, live at or something like that. But everything's still working out for you. You see how God works? It's like even if you didn't receive your, your information or your mail, your, your letter, your legal documents, it's like everything's still working out in your favor. And you got an emperor that's by your side that's going to be riding for you. Okay, we got the emperor and the empress. Some of y'all could be going on vacation. Y'all could be traveling. Okay, y'all getting away from somebody that's crazy as hell that want to see y'all both suffer. Okay, somebody else could be actually going to jail as well. It's like God is like working miracles. Like the way this shit is, like, let me just, Pisces, okay, baby, let me spoil it for you. You win. That's it. That's the ending. That's it. You win. Whatever this shit is that you're going through or your person is going through, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, let me just spoil it for y'all. You both fucking win in the end. Whatever this is, it's destined for y'all to win. Will of Fortune and the Four of Wands is destined for y'all to win. It's destined for y'all to be together forever. Like, this is somebody that you're going to grow old with. This person is in love with you. you in love with them. This is your person. And there's somebody here that's fucking losing their damn mind. This person could be a fellow water sign like you, a Taurus, a Cancer, a Gemini, a Leo, a Capricorn. These motherfuckers is bound to the devil. They toxic as fuck. They all depressed. They all down bad. They all doing sad. They all getting karma and experiencing a tower moment together or one by one on some final destination shit. But either way, this is all going to be simultaneously happening. You're going to be riding off into the sunset with your divine masculine, your divine feminine, your kingdom spouse. And these people are going to be experiencing a fucking firestorm in their life. And it's all happening at the same time. It's all happening at the same time. Like the way God is working in your life. You could write a fucking book, Pisces. For some of y'all, you might actually end up writing a book. This shit is a fucking movie, bro. I'm hearing that your life is a fucking movie because the way that this shit is about to take off and work out for you and your person is so magical. Like somebody here know that God is really working in your life because that's the only way that you could explain how this shit is about to miraculously work out in your favor. I'm hearing that this shit is going to work out in your favor. God is about to do it again. He keep doing it for you. You keep getting put in situations where you feel like there's no way out and he keep doing it for you. He keep working shit out for you. Like you are loved. You are anointed for real. You show, you are showing up as an earth angel. Okay. All right. I'm going to holler at y'all. Yep. I'm going to holler at y'all. I love you guys. Congratulations to everybody. Okay. That got beautiful messages or whatever. Y'all take what resonated. Leave what didn't child. But thank you for tapping in. Thank you for rocking and rolling with me. I'm a holla. Peace.